Welcome back to the shop. We've got the Lingenfelter C4 Corvette on the lift. We are continuing with the engine restoration. And here's the engine from the machine shop. It's uh, fresh. We went through the cylinder heads, put new pistons in, and also upgraded the crankshaft to a forged uh, steel crank. So this thing's a lot beefier. We ended up using some King coated main and rod bearings on this thing, the uh, tri-armor stuff. Sort of what um, Clevite has. I've used to use the Clevite stuff in the past, but the uh, King stuff is a lot more affordable and it's really nice. So we've got ARP studs on all the cylinder heads. Got the valve covers on. We ended up changing the rocker arms out to ones that are set up to clear the large valve springs in these cylinder heads. These are CNC ported uh, heads from Lingenfelter. So this engine block was originally put together in the 90s. Degreased this whole block and painted it to match the car and it's a pretty close match. I'm pretty happy with it. I would say so myself. All right, so we got the water pump here. Um, if you look at the water pump, you'll notice some uh, darker shading areas. That's where coolant has actually leaked into the seal and started to corrode away the aluminum. I ran over these with a flat file and it picked up all the low spots. So in a situation like this, this is a good time to actually coat the part with RTV and then place your gasket on top. Any other situation, I really don't like to do that. If the metal's in good shape, you know, a gasket is plenty good enough. Don't forget your drive shaft. Another thing you want to look out for on these LT blocks are the uh, lower water pump bolt holes actually go into the coolant jacket. So you're going to want to seal those up. Um, I don't believe it does it on the driver's side or passenger side, but you're probably going to want to seal them all up just in case because every block can be slightly different. gaskets that came off of the car and I was uh, kind of confused I saw something a little strange um, they basically had these large metal gaskets on them and these little gaskets would actually fall out of them now 
This is a, a nice way to do a gasket because you're using the aluminum uh, to not allow the graphite gasket to be over compressed. But you also allow the bolts to tension so your bolts will stay in place. However, that's all in great, great for a theory. But when you actually use them on an LT1, they won't work because right here you'll notice that the gasket will have no support in this region. The exhaust manifold will cover this area so it will keep it from blowing out, but it doesn't provide any tension when it's blowing down. So you'll have exhaust leaks with this. If I push this whole template on the cylinder head, you'll kind of see a gap. So um, really bad in the middle right there. And of course it still has poor gasket alignment. It's not bad right up at the top left and this whole left hand side um, covers some of that port up right there and right there. A little bit at the corner here um, and as well on the side there as well. So um, we got some new gaskets on the way from Felpro. So uh, let's pause the video and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, there she is. I ended up um, flushing out the supercharger using a funnel and a rubber coupler and then I ended up using my vacuum pump on the bottom and uh, was able to flow some fresh oil through this thing and actually examine it. On this end I used my pinstripe remover wheel to actually drive the supercharger to keep the gears inside rotating as the oil drips past them uh, to try to clean them up. So. The dark oil was what first came out, and uh, it ended up following in a, in a much cleaner oil was coming out at the end. So, didn't see any metal fragments in the oil, just dirty old oil. It doesn't have any play in it, no front to back play at all. Side to side play feels really tight. The impeller. No play this way. If I pull on it, no pull in and out. No signs of any score marks um, on the blade itself. So um, this thing's in good shape. Pretty clean on the inside. So uh, yeah, that's going to call it. All right, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, definitely, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications on future videos. We'll be following up on this project very shortly, so stay tuned.